Is this in terms of, so somebody's recruiting for the Scrum Master role? And yeah. what, what should they look for in that person specifically? Exactly. Um, I think, you know, I always take like a needs-based approach to thinking about problems and challenges. And if they are sure that they need a Scrum Master, and that's because they want somebody to help create useful change at the team level, at the organization level, yeah, sure. But the breadth of that change is what I'd want to understand. Are you with me? So a one-year or a two-year-old Scrum Master could very well be effective at the team level. They could facilitate events. So you want somebody who knows how to facilitate, how to hold a space, understands the mechanics of the Scrum events, what goes in, what comes out. Has a, has a fairly good grasp of how to use evidence to help us make better decisions. But then if you go to the other side of the scale where you're looking for a, a more vast change, you're going to need somebody who has more, more breadth and they need to be more dynamic with, with Scrum, right? So they need to be able to use evidence-based thinking, they need to know how to facilitate events, they need to be able to help create protection for the team, that's true, but they've got to go beyond that. They've got to go beyond just the, the local part of the ecosystem and be able to understand how things are interlinked together and to be able to look for opportunities to not just treat symptoms, but to actually try and solve problems. So um, I hate to give you the consultant's answer, but it, it does depend. Um, as I say, you know, a, a two year scrum master or three year may be fine for one team, but then there may be some sort of transformational work that's, that's a lot more complex and they need to be able to be a lot more, uh, a lot more dynamic. And dare I say it, this might sound taboo, somebody who also knows when to not use scrum as well. If you're not building something which is product centric, perhaps that's not for scrum. Maybe you're building parts of a product and they need to speak to teams that only build functions. Perhaps they need to speak to each other. So that dynamism and that ability to kind of think in a more nuanced way, I believe it is important if you're gonna be doing stuff outside of the team, if you're doing more transformation type work, which is you know the go-to phrase. So it sounds like you don't necessarily need to have 10 or 20 years of experience. It really depends on the context and the organizational situation, whether it's there's a need for a small team or if we're cascading um, the change throughout the entire organization or even the model. If you have maybe a more senior kind of coach um, mm -hmm. and then you can pair them with that um, more junior coach. Um, that's what it sounds like.